Jana, Jalissa, Faze, Tana, Jake, Alyssa. It was a whole mess, but fans are calling Jana out over staging the whole thing. What? Nikita Dragon trolled her trolls in the funniest way. So Jacob Elordi has just revealed the truth about what's really going on with him and Zendaya. Hey guys, I'm Susan Morad. And I'm Emil Ennis Jr. here on the comfy couch with lots of stuff in front of us. <laughs> there is so much, admittedly, a lot more in front of me than in front of you. You guys, yeah. uh, Starbucks just released their very, well, their brand new Irish cream cold brew. Ooh, which say is, that four times I fast. know, which is this one over here. So we thought, like, let's do a holiday mukbang and do a whole bunch of the holiday drinks that we've got at Starbucks and Coffee Bean because, yeah. I mean, you know we love our tea here at Coffee News. Here's the thing though, I don't drink coffee, so Susan definitely has more coffee drinks. I drink tea and I drink hot chocolate, so Susan's gonna try that, and while she's trying that, I'm gonna start <laughs> off with... Let's get into the tea. The Emil Toasted... Oh, that's, that's my name, that's my name. Uh, the Toasted White Hot Chocolate from Starbucks. Okay, and this is the Irish Cream Cold Brew. Okay. Shall we cheers? Oh, cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's Ooh, actually very good. Very refreshing. Good. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's really good. That's I don't want to drink really too good. much because, spoiler alert, <laughs> there's two red velvet drinks, and you guys know I love red velvet, but we have to get into what's mm. going on. So, we're going to kick it off with Jacob Elordi and Zendaya. We need to talk about what's really going on because you've definitely heard about the romance between them two, or should I say, rumors between them. And they've amped up over the last few months because at this point, we've all seen that picture of them they came together in that random tourist photo yeah, in Greece. Just, like, honestly, what are the chances of that happening? If that was my photo, I would right. be like so happy. Oh my, and God. So like, oh my God. Um, but you guys, everyone has been crazy shipping them. People have spotted them hanging out around like Los Angeles, mm -hmm. going to the movies together. But neither have actually spoken out about their relationship and what their status might be. Well, this week, Jacob finally opened up and weighed in on the Zendaya romance rumors during an interview with GQ Australia. You ready? Because Jacob said, quote, She's like my sister. <laughs> <laughs> which is beautiful. It is. Which is so sweet. But like, we were all waiting for so much more. I know, because they're such a cute oh, pair. Oh, but they can also be cute as friends. But he went on to say, she's super dope to work with. She's an incredible artist and a very caring person to all of us. But we're all really close. There is not one weak link in that show. We spent so much time together and everyone is just so cool to work with. So, yeah, there we have it. That's basically what it is. And they were both in Australia together where Zendaya took home Woman of the Year at the GQ Australia Awards. Mm -hmm. And he also took home the Man of the Year at the GQ Australia Awards. So yeah. congrats, guys. All right, but... We need to cheers. We do need to cheers. We need to find... A, okay, can I try a red velvet one now? Okay, do I have a red velvet? I don't have a red velvet. I don't think I have a red velvet. You don't think you have a red... No, you oh, don't have a red velvet. Actually, there's this other one that's got eggnog Ooh, latte. See, I'm not a I've, fan of eggnog. Well, I've never tried eggnog. Ever. And I've always been so curious. I thought eggnog had Wait, alcohol. Wait, so I have red velvet blended, ice blended, and red velvet hot cocoa. I'll do the ice blended first. Okay. Even though it's kind of melted a little bit. So this is a red velvet from Starbucks. I mean, a red velvet eggnog from Starbucks. An, oh, yeah. eggnog, an eggnog latte. Oh, oh yeah. This is from Coffee Bean. Okay. Red Cheers. velvet ice blended. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. It, mm, mm, mm. Kind of nutty. Is it meant to be nutty? I'm going to have a sugar rest. Tell us about Nikita though. <laughs> okay, so you guys. Nikita is one to never shy away from speaking her mind and also being one, you know, to call a spade a spade, even if it means calling herself one. And honestly, it's one of the reasons we stand her so much. And this week when someone on Instagram tried to troll her and call her out for using Facetune and Photoshop, she had the most hilarious response. Mm. Emil, you might want to put that down. We have so much more to get through. I know. I know. It's so good though. Okay, but... So an IG account, which basically aims to show how influencers look in real life, posted this picture with a few images of Nikita side by side. In the caption, the account wrote, Nikita Dragon, she has a great body. Why would she make herself look like an alien? Real, photoshopped, real. Well, it looks like Nikita saw the post and actually reshared it herself to her Instagram stories with the funniest edit where she made herself actually like really face tuned okay. on the actual um, waist of those two photos that were meant to be the real ones. And anyway, you can have a look at it here. And she posted it with a caption saying, I love when these accounts try to expose me. Like, are you new here? I'm sponsored by Facetune at this point, which honestly was so funny. And I just love the way she actually like edited the pictures because it's like, Duh, we know. I mean, I use Facetune. We all use Facetune. We don't all use Facetune. Okay, I don't use Facetune. <laughs> I only use it a little bit, but 
but I love yeah. that she um she like went hardcore with the face chin yeah. to the point where I was like, yeah, she looks like an alien now, and hey. it's fine. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do, but we're gonna dive into another drink before we move on to some Jana news. What should we do next? Because I've got like a bunch of peppermint options here too. Oh, I was gonna say I don't have any tea drinks. These are all chocolate, so I'm gonna do a tea drink since we're about to get into some tea. Yeah. This is the Winter Dream Tea Latte from Coffee Bean. Okay, and I'm gonna do. It this smells is, good. This is a peppermint mocha latte. Kind of smells like a candle. There's one from Coffee Bean and there's one from um, Starbucks. They're both peppermint mocha, which I've never had before. Which one do I do first? I'll do the Coffee Bean. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Ooh, oh. Oh, it tastes like Andy's mints. Mmm. I don't know how to describe. Oh, no. No, I need a napkin, guys. No, what happened? I got some on my sweater and my pants. Oh, no. Right in the spot. You don't want to get it. Okay, we'll deal with that later. Okay. But I will say, I don't know how, but Ooh. this definitely tastes like winter, if that makes sense. And I don't know what it is. Mm. There's a certain spice in that drink. Speaking of spice, though, let's talk about Jana and Jalissa and everything that happened. Mm. So this week, things got crazy when it came to Faze Banks and Alyssa Violet and the two of them airing out their dirty laundry on their previous relationship. It got messy and we're not going to get into all of that here, but Alyssa responded to a tweet from a Twitter user asking when she found out Banks cheated on her and she basically went off. Yeah, she had receipts and text messages and called out FaZe Banks on multiple things, including cheating and more during the time they were together. And he ended up responding with his own long message on social, but he continued to share love towards Alyssa, saying that he wanted to keep things private, but didn't outwardly deny what Alyssa was saying. Mm, and things started to simmer down later in the week. That mm -hmm. all sort of was happening earlier in the week. Until enter Jake Paul. And basically, he decided to include himself in this narrative, which... None of us saw coming. Yeah, so he posted this photo writing, quote, what I never got to say these days, December 13th. Now, the picture's not current. It's a throwback picture of Jake and Alyssa, who you know they used to date. And with it, Jake is seemingly teasing that he's got some tea to spill. Some tea to spill. Speaking of which, I'm Speaking just going to take I know. another sip of my tea since I only have one tea drink. Oh, OK. No. Well, I'm leaving those, those mocha ones actually were really great. I felt like the um, the Starbucks one was like way more peppermint, peppermint tea. Mm -hmm. And then the coffee bean one was like really like full and rich, but they both taste like Andy's mints. But I'm going to have a sip of this chestnut praline latte. Wow, these flavors are chestnut like... Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Oh my god, you sound like the real, like like a CD playing right I know, now. I have a karaoke mic that has a, a reverb echo effect to it. While most people were left saying, what the whoo, when this pic hit their feet, there was a lot of others coming to Tana's defense, dragging Jake over posting the picture like this while he is indeed in a relationship with Tana, even though it's an open one. Yeah, saying things like Tana's gonna be pissed and Tana, dump your mans right now, honey. As for Tana though, not long after Jake posted the Jalissa pic, she simply tweeted, eesh. Yeah, but over on Instagram, Tana shared a different kind of post. She posted this pic with a lengthy caption where she opened up and explained that she needed to take a step back from social media. It's a long post, but essentially she said, I think I'm gonna take a few days break from socials for my brain, all love to everyone in my life and zero shade to anyone. I just wanna take a little time to tell the people I love that I love them and not care about comments or tweets or people's opinions of me for the first time in six years. And we totally get that, right? We totally get what it's like living your life on social media yeah. and every single thing, especially for like influencers and YouTubes, like mm -hmm. it's there for the taking for everyone. Yeah. Well, while there are a lot of fans flooding her comment section with love and support and telling her, take the time you need, we're here for you. Um, among the comments, there were also a number of people on both Tana and Jake's posts calling them out for clickbaiting and planning the whole thing with the timing of the Jalissa post and Tana taking a social break situation and they just thought the whole thing was kind of, yeah, clickbaity stage. Yeah, like this person who said, this is just for clout, I'm pretty sure you set the game plan for Jake's drama. And this person who said, you both aren't fooling anybody, this is one big plot, LMAO. And over on Twitter, in response to a fan asking Tanner about the picture that Jake posted, this person said, it's called promo, guys. She knows and she's friends with her, so chill. With this person going further, calling out Tana to say that Tana has a moral obligation to put an end to whatever their relationship is, saying, if you literally have any respect for yourself, you should publicly leave him so those young kids you're influencing understand that it's not okay to put up with like this, even if the marriage slash relationship is fake. And then there was all the people calling on Tana for a divorce, saying things like, time for a divorce vlog. Yeah, it was really messy. There's been a lot going on and I feel like, you know, 
the 13th of December is literally literally around the corner, mm -hmm. so we're going to see what happens with that. But um, I think there will definitely be more revealed as time goes on. You know, one theory is that this could be like the thing that's going to happen before they might end up divorcing. Mm -hmm. Like, who knows? But yeah, so I guess we just have to wait and see what. So what many theories because December 13th is just going to be a jam packed day for everyone. We I have know. Taylor Swift's birthday. Yes. We have Harry Styles dropping it well, out. We got more on that yeah, later. We, we do, yeah. but also I have this stain on my sweater now. Moving oh. on to the fire around Niall Horn finally addressed those Selena dating rumors well not exactly mentioning Selena's name specifically but in a radio interview the host said a lot of young girls were calling in to ask if he was dating anyone quote because we've been looking at him tagging Selena Gomez on Instagram Niall's response do I have a girlfriend I don't no I'm very much single very much single. Very much single for all your single ladies out mm -hmm. there. Uh, Olivia Jade returned to YouTube this week with a brief video called Hi Again and also this Instagram post with the caption, I hope you have a beautiful day. And in her video, she didn't really say anything about the scandal. She said she couldn't say anything about it. You know, legal proceedings are still happening. And the comments section wasn't great, to put it mildly. There was a lot of people that weren't really here for her return just yet, but, um, yeah. Um, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, but we have to talk about Billie Eilish. I'm going to grab another red velvet drink, Ooh. though, before I do the hot cocoa now from Coffee Bean. Okay, this one sounds dangerous. This is a cookie butter ice blend Ooh, I from love cookie Coffee butter. Bean. You do? You mm -hmm. didn't get one? No, because you can't have milk. Mm. Wow! OMG, that is wild. Mmm! This is very student on the throat. This is so good. This is like so desserty and sweet and mmm. So Billie Eilish was also a star that a lot of people were talking about this week after she appeared on Jimmy Kimmel Live. So certain people took offense that Billie didn't know who Van Halen was. And Van Halen's a rock band that was popular in the 80s. Billie was born in 2001. Anyway, it got this whole debate happening on socials, but fans were defending Billie as were most people in general because not everyone knows every artist ever even if they were really popular at the time. I mean, duh. Because, duh. <laughs> Justin Bieber also wanted to apologize this week and say sorry with an Instagram post that said, stand against racism, particularly about his controversial racist past without actually specifically naming the matters or addressing them specifically again. Some fans were really here for it, but many others were also saying it's too late to say sorry. But Emil, I really want to try this cookie butter ice latte from Coffee Bean because that one from Starbucks was so good. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Oh, oh. Mmm. Well, this one's really strong. I don't know. You didn't scream like you did for the other one. Yeah, the one from Starbucks was way, felt more like a dessert. This one feels more like a a coffee variation. Well, I'll do this peppermint Super hot chocolate. Intense. This one's pretty intense. Oh, man. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, Sorry nope. to this man. <laughs> I've enjoyed everyone. I do not like peppermint and chocolate unless there's a... Uh, Andy's mint? No, Ghirardelli. Is it Ghirardelli? Oh, Ghirardelli, yeah. whatever. They have their peppermint chocolate uh, that's really good. This ain't it. I'm sorry. I've loved every other one. And that's fine. You may <laughs> love it. Fine. I yeah. just don't like it. So. Yeah. Oh, mm. I'm going to try... I'm going to try one more while we're here because this sounds so good. I'm probably going to be ill after all this white chocolate mocha mm. from Starbucks. Oh, yeah. Tasty, a bit more mild than the last, the, the cookie dough, the cookie ones, but mm, still really good. Well, last week we asked you to leave some Thanksgiving emojis and we got some great turkeys. We had some pumpkins, mm -hmm. we had some fall leaves. And this week, I mean, I feel like we're gearing up for Christmas, Emil, and I feel like it's not too soon to be thinking about presents. And I don't know if, you know, it's kind of a little bit maybe like Santa's list. Uh -huh. You can maybe drop us in the comments section what you're hoping for this Christmas mm. with a bit of a present emoji, you know, the box so that we know that you're actually talking to us and you know uh, this whole thing that's happening right now. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know, just leave us a Christmas tree. Got it, got it. Mm. I like that. But we have to talk about what's happening next in the world of pop culture and entertainment. Streamy Awards are coming up next Friday. And funny enough, it's hostless this year. Instead, they're going to have a group of YouTubers, including Amazing. Emma Chamberlain, Patrick Starr, and they're going to be kind of like making the show move along, but no I love hope. that. I love that. Uh, speaking of awards, the Golden Globe nominations, Critics' Choice nominations, and SAGs are all happening next week because we get are uh, getting really mm -hmm. close to like the major awards season 
really sort of kicking off. Yeah, and like I said earlier, Harry Styles' big release date is on the 13th too, mm. which brings us to birthdays. <gasps> Taylor Swift's birthday this week, well next week on the 13th, <laughs> which we cannot wait for. Like you said before, it's going to be a massive day mm -hmm. here at Clever and for everybody else really. <laughs> um, we've also got Nicki Minaj celebrating a birthday, Hayley Steinfeld and Raven Simone. Happy birthday guys. Happy birthday, but guys, that is it for today's episode of Celebrity Lowdown. Susan. Oh man. The coffee is getting to her. Oh, I, I still I'm feel like great. Happy. I did did not try one, so I'm just gonna try, even though Susan has multiple. I'm I just like have lost count. one left to try, and it's the salted caramel hot chocolate. This is enough. You see, I saved the ones I don't really like for last, but I don't really like caramel. Do you say caramel or caramel? Let me know. Caramel. Like, nope. Here. See? And this is this is why I didn't want to try it, because I already knew I wasn't gonna like it. But guys, thank you so much for watching Celebrity yes. Lowdown. Each and every week, let us know what you think about the show. Make sure you follow the emoji instructions. If yes. you missed it, go back and watch. We're not going to say it again. Yeah, and but. also, you guys, if you've tried any of these before, let us know what you think. Mm -hmm. Or also, what's your favorite holiday hot or cold drink mm. to enjoy yes. during the festive season? And uh, we'll be back here next, next week. Saturday. Bye, guys. Ooh, I'm definitely feeling all those brews and iced coffees and teas, you guys. Catch up on last week's episode of Celebrity Lowdown. If you haven't already, it's right here. Yeah, and also don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell. Or maybe you should hit the jingle bell. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I'm gonna head out. <laughs>